Today, we're going to be using two extremely powerful tools that are going to help us with our product research, along with importing and optimizing those products into our store. So the first tool that we're going to look at today is Dropship.io. I'm pretty sure if you're on TikTok and you're following anything that has to do with dropshipping, at one point, you had to have come across the Dropship.io videos. They're huge. That's what she said. So to start, Dropship.io has three different plans. The first one, the most basic one, starts at just $29 a month. Then they go up from there. But honestly, to get started, all you really need is the basic one. But if you don't want to pay for it just yet and you want to just try them out, you can get a seven day free trial. Now, Dropship.io is full of different features. So for one, they have a huge product database, which we're going to be using in just a bit. But aside from that, they also have a sales tracker, which here you can keep track of either different stores or different products if you're choosing to see how they're selling in the last few days, the last few weeks or the last few months. This can really help you see what stores are trending and which ones are doing well. So that way you can base your store somewhat around it, or maybe you can take inspiration from one of those stores. They also have a competitor research section where you can actually search for different competitors. Here you can search by multiple keywords. There's also a portfolio where this is actually pretty cool. This is where they give you product recommendations on a daily basis. So every day they're going to be giving you different product recommendations. So that way you can start offering new and different products. Now for this, however, we are going to be focusing on the product database. So this is where you're going to find the products that you want to drop ship. Here you can search for a variety of products with a ton of different filters. So to start, these are a few of the different things that you can filter through. So for one, you can filter through a minimum or a maximum price. So you can choose items that are selling at a minimum of $5 and selling at a maximum of 10. You can also filter based off of the monthly sales that stores are getting or the monthly sales that the products are getting. Here you can filter through the monthly revenue that is generated by a particular product, the amount of products that a store has listed, and even down to how many images each product has, or also the amount of different variations available. So for this, let's do an example like I had mentioned earlier. Let's not go too high. So let's do maybe between 10 and $20 not 250 between 10 and $20. And now we can select a category so we can find any product that ranges between our 10 to $20 range, or we can choose specific products. So appliances, we're probably not going to find unless we're looking for appliance accessories. But for this, we're going to keep it pretty short. So let's do arts and sewing. Let's keep baby as well, along with beauty and care. Let's not do camera and photo clothing, shoes and jewelry is perfect. And let's take off everything else. And let's keep pet supplies. Actually, pet supplies is a good one. All right. So, so far we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five different categories checked off and we want products that are ranging in sales between 10 to $20. Now we also have a few more filters that we can go through through the advanced filters. Here you can exclude or include different keywords and a few other things, but we're going to keep it simple right now. And another cool feature here is that you can choose products that are only being drop shipped or products that are only print on demand. Now I'm going to choose drop ship products only because I'm not really interested in print on demand just yet. And let's click on search. So before we continue, I do apologize. I'm going to have to look over this way rather than this way because I'm having to switch over to my bigger screen so you can see everything on the website. So after the search concluded, this is what we have available. So these are all the different products that Dropship IO found for us. So the primary thing that we're looking for here is the pricing of the products themselves. So right here, we can see the price range that we set. Everything is within our 10 to $20 price range. So let's go ahead and switch this over. Actually, let's make this from lowest price to highest price. And this is where we start. This is where we begin. So these are all of the different products that Dropship IO found for us. So they have anti-dust car gloves, signature strip lash applicator, a wag and tail e-gift card, cute animal pencil lists, a couple of different shirts, and a few other accessories. Now from here, we have the option to either go directly to the AliExpress supplier, or we can check out the website that's actually selling this item. So before we check out the supplier, let's check out the website. So let's click on here to technotics.in. It's an interesting name. And here we have Tech Tonic. That's a pretty cool name. I like it. But that's pretty much what it is. This is the dropshipping store that is dropshipping this particular phone case that has to do with NASA, right? So that's pretty straight, simple, straight to the point. Now let's check out the supplier. So for this, we're going to click on search on AliExpress. And instead of taking us directly to the actual item, it takes us to a variety of items that are similar. So these are all different cases that have to do with the same theme, outer space or NASA. So scrolling through a few of these, you can see that everything here follows the same theme when it comes to the phone case. Let's check out another product really quick. So I actually know a lot of people here in my area that have their own lash businesses. So there's a lot of girls here that I used to go to school with that started up their own lashing business. So they could actually benefit from something like this. So let's take a quick look at this really fast. Let's take a look at the website. And here we have Penny Mark, which is a seller that's drop shipping these lashes. They're selling them for about $10 and then checking out the supplier over at AliExpress. They have, again, a few different variations. It takes us to the search page rather than the direct product. But here you can find some that are actually extremely similar and they're all running for about the same price, just under $2. So one thing that I noticed on here is the fact that none of these actually show any monthly sales. 
sales or any monthly revenue. So let's change that. So there's a few different things that we can do. For one, we can go over here under monthly sales amount per product, and we can put either a minimum or a maximum that any store is getting every month. So let's say I put here 10,000. That's going to show me stores that are getting a maximum of 10,000 sales a month for one particular product. Now, if you want to do $10,000 in revenue every month, just look at the tab right under it. So monthly revenue generated per product, maximum 10,000. That's going to show us products that are making a maximum of $10,000 every month in revenue. But since we're not looking at that right now, right now we're sticking to our 10 to $20 selling range. What we're going to do here is we're going to switch either the monthly sales or the monthly revenue. So I actually want to go with the monthly sales. So let's look through some of the different products that they have. And you know what? Let's actually do the advanced filters and let's do the store language. Let's switch that off and let's go to English. Sorry, I want to be able to read what I'm trying to sell. So these are all of the different products that we searched for within our 10 to $20 range. And here we can see that the first one on here has a monthly sales total of 12345 They're bringing in a monthly revenue of about $153,000. Now looking through some of the other ones, let's see what else they have. All right, let's check this one out. This one is actually very simple. This looks to be a simple cross pendant. And that's exactly what it is. Cruz de la Fe Celestial. Let's check out the supplier. Let's check out AliExpress. So let's click on the AliExpress link here. And there are a few different pendants that are somewhat similar. Let's see. There's not too many. Let me show you a way to find this exact product. So all we're going to do is look for the image, right click it, search image with Google and boom, the first link right here, AliExpress. All right. So this one is actually running for 99 cents. If you buy it when it's not on sale, it's $5 and 99 cents. Now, according to dropship IO, this is selling for about $16 and 50 cents. So 1650 minus the 599 with free shipping that comes out to a profit of about 10 bucks. That's not bad. All right. So when it comes to product research, as you can see, dropship IO is a very powerful tool and it gives you a ton of different options. It can really help you find some new and trending products that some other people don't have. On top of that, it gives you tons of different analytics to help you make a right informed choice. This app can really help you find the right dropshipping products that are right for you. Whoa, really? That's cool. Now, before we continue any further, let me know down in the comments below what you think of Dropship IO. Have you heard of them before? Have you used them before? What are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comments below. One of my favorite features, honestly, about Dropship IO is the fact that they tell you the monthly sales and the monthly revenue for any given product. But how can we take this a step further? How can we incorporate Dropship IO with some other tools to help set us up for success? Remember that when it comes to dropshipping, it's not about using the absolute best tool. It's about using a conjunction of different tools to help set you you up for success. Remember that there's going to be some tools that are going to be specific for one part of your business, while others are going to be specific for other parts. It's just really up to you to find what tools are best for you, which ones you find more efficient, what combination do you find easiest to work with. Personally, I love combining Dropship IO with AutoDS. Now, what we're going to do with AutoDS is import and optimize our listings. Okay, so right now we're logged into our platform over at AutoDS.com and we're just sitting at our dashboard. Now, if you want access to AutoDS, you can sign up right now for the trial period for just $1. But aside from that, this is how you can optimize your product imports and your product listings. So for one, the first thing that we're going to do is import our product. This is one of the easiest things that you can do as well as one of the quickest. Of course, that is with automation. Now, if you're doing this one by one, if you decide to import this product to your store and do everything manually, it's fine. It's probably going to take you about five to 10 minutes to copy everything over, save the different images, set up the different variations. And realistically speaking, if you're just uploading one or two different products, it's not that bad. Take you maybe an hour at most. But if you start importing a lot of different products, if you want to upload as many different products to your store as possible, since we saw earlier that some of these different stores have over 500 different products. So if you want to keep adding inventory to your store, if you want to make it more efficient, and if you don't want to waste any time, then I highly suggest you implement automation. Check out how easy and how quick this is. So all you have to do is go on over to your product. This one right now we're getting from AliExpress, but there's tons of different suppliers that we support. So you can automatically import your product from a lot of different suppliers. So what we do here, again, is just simply go ahead and cut or copy over the link, run back over to our platform at autodesk.com and click on add products. Here we can either go single or multiple. I'm going to show you the multiple. Now with multiple, all you do is paste in the link, press enter, paste in the link to another product. And you keep doing that over and over until you have all of the different products you want to import at once on there. I'm not going to import it twice. So let's just remove that. And the first thing that you're going to notice is down here, you're going to see the supplier source change. In this case, it changed to AliExpress and it's shipping from China. Now all we have to do is simply click on add as drag. 
craft. But before we do that, just so you know, you can also upload through a CSV file. So you can set up a CSV file with all of the different links and all of the different data and simply upload that. Then AutoDS will extract all that data and upload your different products. Now, continuing on here, let's go ahead and click on add as draft. And now what's going to happen is whatever items that we linked are going to come over here to our draft section. As you can see, we already have a ton of different products on here for this particular store. So let's just give it a couple seconds so it can upload the next draft. So once the product is uploaded, then you're going to see it over here. From here, we can edit in two different options. We can either click on it and edit it through here. Or my favorite is just click to edit and you get the dedicated page where you can adjust anything that you need. So once we click into the product here, we can change literally anything that we need. So for one, we can change the title. We can go ahead and optimize it here. Now here you can optimize your title either on your own or you can optimize the title with AI. We're going to show an example of that really fast, but not just yet. Stick with me for a second. Now, if your store is on Shopify, then you're going to have the option to add your item to any of the collections that you have on there. Aside from that, you can add any different tags so that we can keep track of analytics. It makes it a lot easier to keep track of sales. You can choose the different shipping methods. So the best one, in my opinion, is always going to be cheapest with tracking because it's going to be for one, the cheapest shipping method. And two, it's always going to provide a tracking number. And that's something that your customer is always going to need. So if you choose cheapest, then yeah, you're going to get some cheaper tracking, but you have the potential of not getting a tracking number. Then you also have the fastest with tracking, which that's if you want to provide the fastest shipping, which isn't always necessary. Aside from that here, you can also keep track of your stock and your price monitoring, meaning if your supplier changes the price, AutoDS will adjust the price of your product accordingly. Now let's run over to our description. And here you have the option to edit your description. Of course, here you can change everything that you need. A lot of the times I personally don't like having too many images in my descriptions, but that's just me. Sometimes you can have it if you place them neatly, if they're organized, if it's easy to read and they're not overbearing, then it can work. But me personally, I prefer to just have a plain description, but that's beside the point. Now here we can also optimize our description with AI. So let's go ahead and click on this. Let's do both the title and the description. So you can choose a tone for the title. I like to make mine funny. I don't like my dropshipping store to have too much of a serious tone. I like to be a bit lighthearted. So let's go with funny. As for the description, let's do the same thing. Let's go with funny. A temperature. Do you want it to be more creative, more precise to the product, or do you want a nice balance of both? Let's go with balance. And let's AI write. So what this is going to do is take everything that's already on there, everything that's in the description and everything that's in the title, and it's going to rewrite it for you. It's going to optimize it for you. So of course here, it's going to give you a suggestion or a couple of different suggestions. It's up to you to actually optimize it even further. Remember, AI works. AI is great, but it always needs that little helping hand. So Jesus cross hand Christian church utensils. You see right here. Let's take that off right there. Always make sure you read the ultimate holy swag for Orthodox priest. I'm assuming this would be priest figures for Orthodox priest figures and Catholic natal. Per OK, this is getting a bit too long to be a title for me. Like this is a bit too long for me. So let's just keep it short. So let's just go ahead and leave this to Jesus cross the ultimate holy swag because I actually kind of like that. Let's just take the rest of this off. So Jesus cross the ultimate holy swag. Now, Jesus cross, this could be optimized a bit further, you know, but it's straight to the point. That's exactly what our product is. So we can leave it like this. Now, as far as the description, it's the same thing. You can go ahead and read through what was generated. Of course, like I mentioned earlier, make sure that you specify certain things, make sure that you fix any grammatical errors or anything that you think won't fit there or doesn't fit the description of your product. This really takes a lot out of having to come up with different descriptions and different titles. It's a lot easier to have one generated and make a few tweaks rather than just come up with everything from scratch. So after this, we can either regenerate it if we want a new one or we can save. I'm just going to go ahead and save. Aside from that, we can check out the variants. So if there were more variants aside from the khaki one, you would see them on here. Again, if there were more, you can select all of them and then click on edit. So you edit everything at once and you can change your pricing on here. So you can change your pricing based off of a fee percentage, a default quantity, or you can change the default quantity as well. You can increase your profit by a specific dollar amount. So let's say you want to make $10 per sale flat. You can specify that here, or if you want to do it by a percentage, or if you simply just want everything listed at $25. Now that's one way to edit your pricing in bulk. Another way to do it and get a bit more specific is by simply clicking on each variation individually. So on that little edit button that you saw me click here, you can specify everything a bit further more. So let's say fees 1%. Let's say I want to make this 15%. So you can see that my selling price changed from 20 to 24. Now I don't want to take fees into consideration. All I want is I want a 500% profit, which means I'm going to be selling this item at $30. And you can see our buy price here is $4.79. Now you also have the option to change a few extra things on here. So you can round it to 99 cents. So it'll be $29.99. And you can also do a compare at price based off of a percentage or a dollar amount. So whenever you go to Shopify and you see $5.99 and then right next to it, you see compare at $25.99. That's what this is. Once you made all of your adjustments, all your
all you have to do is save and then you can click onto the different images. So on here you can add, delete, or even edit the different images. There's a built-in image editor on here that you can use to crop, add any text, or add any minor effects. Aside from that, you have the item specifications, which honestly, you barely ever touch. You're never really going to mess with this. So as you can see, importing your products through AutoDS is really going to save you a ton of time, especially when you're uploading many products. If you're just getting started in the game and you want to upload as many products as you can, if you're doing it manually, be prepared to be sitting on your butt for quite a few days, just copying, pasting, and downloading images. But if you implement automation with AutoDS, you're going to do everything in minutes. Wow, that was now, importing your products isn't the only thing that AutoDS is going to help you with. It can help you with a lot more. But another major part that AutoDS can streamline entirely for you is the order fulfillment process. So let's click on over to our orders tab over here. And you can see these are all of the different orders that have come in through our store. Now, when it comes to orders coming into our store, whenever you receive any orders, you have two options. You can either go to your supplier, sign on, find the product, add it to your cart, check out, put in your customer's information, get the tracking number, and then update your customer with it. Perfectly fine, but that's something that you're going to have to stay on top of. You're going to have to keep on waiting and looking out for that tracking number. And on top of that, you're going to have to waste time actually going to your supplier's website and placing the order, which again, if you're doing one or two different ones, it's not that bad. But when you start typing in a different address every single time for every single order, then again, you better be prepared to be sitting on your butt just placing orders all day. So in this case, that's when something like Fulfilled by AutoDS comes along and completely eliminates that entire process. It gives you so much more free time back that you can use to reinvest back into your business. So this is pretty much how it works. So whenever somebody goes into your store and places an order, AutoDS is going to take that order and they're going to reroute it to your supplier automatically. Now you're not going to have to do anything. AutoDS is going to place that order for you and AutoDS is also going to pay for it using a balance that you top up. Then after AutoDS places that order and the supplier gives a tracking number, then AutoDS is going to take that tracking number and update your customer with it. And all you have to do is focus on finding more winning products. Automating your business with AutoDS is really going to give you a ton of time that you can use to reinvest back in into your business, whether that be to find more products, to optimize your store, to make it look better, to make it easier to navigate, to focus more on your marketing, or to simply just kick back for a couple of days or a couple of hours and just enjoy your free time or enjoy your time with your family. AutoDS can really help you in this aspect. It can really help you get a lot more of your time back. So that way you can keep reinvesting it into what really matters. So as you saw, using one tool is very helpful, but using a combination of tools is really what can help set you up for success. Again, if you want to check out Dropship io they do have their paid plans but you always have the option to start with a seven day free trial also if you want to try out of the s you can start your trial period here for one dollar as well i really hope that you found this video helpful and you found it informational like i mentioned earlier it's not about using one tool that's going to rule them all it's about using a combination of tools that are going to set you up for success so hopefully this gave you some information that you needed and gave you a couple of different options in terms of those different types of tools huge thank you term for watching especially if you made it all the way to the end as always it truly means a lot if you're still here then and obviously that means you enjoyed the video. So make sure you smash that like button. Also make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. As always, my name is Mario with AutoDS. I wish you all nothing but success in your dropshipping businesses and I'll catch you all next time.